Alright, so I've wanted to do this video for so long and I just really haven't found the time to. Heartburn. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but I have work in like 30 something minutes and I just did my 32 week update and I still have time before work so I'm going to go ahead and try and squeeze this video in. Um, I was going to do two separate videos on this topic, these topics, but I decided just to combine them so this might be a little long but I'm going to try and, you know, give you all the information so hopefully that will answer a lot of questions. Yeah, this is a video on explaining how I got pregnant and how I told my parents. Because someone actually requested for me to do that, how I told my parents. And I'm just now getting around to that, so I'm sorry. Daniel, my baby's father, and I, we were living together. Uh, you're probably wondering, sorry, I have to interrupt because I blink so much in all my videos and it's because the sun like shines in my eyes and it's like off topic. But uh, Daniel and I were living together. We rented an apartment from his cousin, Jared, and his girlfriend, and we lived with them. They had um, a three-bedroom house, I think. Yeah, and she actually owned the house. And so we stayed upstairs in our own bedroom, a master bedroom, and had its own loft and master bathroom, and that was awesome. And then Chelsea and Jared had the whole downstairs, and there's two bedrooms downstairs. Since they're family, and they just, you know, had such a big house and wanted um, someone to live with them because that would also help out with bills and stuff. We moved in and we paid 400 a month and that's including utilities, electricity, water. It was cheap, but I mean more than I was 17, 18 and I, um, I was way out. I was way too soon. I host this now because I'm so big that way too soon probably sick for me to do, but um, I was host, or way too soon and Daniel was working and we were making pretty good money. You know, we had money to go do stuff like movies and go to dinner and just pay for groceries and the rent. We were making decent money. And we were just honestly so happy together. We were, everything was like literally perfect. We were just getting along so well. I'm really going to take full responsibility for being pregnant because I was not on birth control. That is my biggest tip to all girls is, and any woman, anybody, who does not need to get pregnant and does not want to get pregnant is birth control. People say that they get pregnant on birth control, but if you double up birth control and condoms, you're pretty safe and <laughs> there's like a 99% chance you're not going to get pregnant if you use both. Because if one fails you, then you know you have the other one to fall back on. And condoms definitely failed us. Um, one broke one night and I got up and I showered right away, like washed down there because they say, you know, sorry, this is a little gross, but if you um, break something, just get up right away and wash and stuff. So I did that and I just wasn't too worried because, you know, I don't know. Um, and a few weeks later, I was a week late on my period and I've been a week late on my period before. I've been weeks late on my period actually and I haven't gotten pregnant because sometimes I just I have really irregular periods. We were at Walmart grocery shopping and Jim was like, you should take a test. And I was like, no, 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 I don't need to take a test. I'm not pregnant. And he's like, well, then just take one and give us a piece of mind. So there was a 89 cent test, like there's an 89 cent like, medicine bin in the middle of the highways. And I got an 89 cent test because I don't want to spend money on one because I just like, I'm not pregnant. And so we went home and it was 3.30 and this was before I had to go to work. I took my test and it was positive right away. Like strong positive. Well, it wasn't faint positive. There's no question about it. There was two strong solid lines. And as soon as I saw that test, I burst into tears. I was shaking and I went out in the living room and I was like, damn, break me. <laughs> I was bawling my eyes out. And um, he was just sitting there playing Xbox and he's like, I knew you were. And he was just so calm about it. I'm just sitting here freaking out and he's calm. And so I had to like quickly like fix my makeup and get my it together and go to work. And so um, on my way to work, my mom and I were like best friends. We were really close because you know she was treating me like an adult. I moved out, but we were still like met up for lunches and you know talked about things and kept in contact. So um, I called her, and as soon as I said that, I'm going to be so honest right now. You know, I don't blame her at all, but she, I was like, Mom, I have to tell you something. And she's like, what, baby? And she was being all sweet and stuff. I'm like, oh, she's being sweet now. Just wait. 
and I said, I am pregnant. And first reaction, excuse my language, are you fucking kidding me? But she didn't say it like that, she like screamed it. And um, she was just screaming and yelling and saying how disappointed she was in me and I'm just sitting here bawling my eyes out because I, I was disappointed in myself, you know, I'm not proud to be 17 and pregnant. And honestly, just think about it, if your 17 year old daughter came to you and she said, she was pregnant, you're not going to be happy because I'm having a little girl and I know if she came to me at 17 years old, I would be so disappointed and I would be really upset at first. You know, it would take me time to grasp and forgive and so I got to work and the whole, this was like the worst night of work of my life because the whole night I just had that on my mind, oh my god, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant, but I wasn't going to tell anybody obviously, so it was just eating me up inside and then my dad texted me and he was like your mom told me my parents are divorced by the way and my dad lives in another town and um, a couple hours away and I didn't have to worry about telling my dad because my mom went ahead and did it and I was really scared to tell my dad and um, he texted me and he was like I just want you to know me and Patty that's my stepmom are fully supportive of you and I want you to give me a call when you're on your way home from work. And so I called him on my way home from work, and we were talking about it, and he was excited, and that's really weird, but I don't think, I mean, I'm sure he was disappointed too, but he was, like, trying to be the positive parent, because he knows my mom was, like, being mean, and I think to just, like, spite her, he was saying, you know, um, we're fully supportive of you, and um, want you to make the best decisions, and, you know, we don't want abortion, you know, that shouldn't be an option, and all of this stuff, and abortion wasn't an option in my mind, because I am pro-choice, and, you know, if you are not pro-choice, you don't have to attack me because of my opinion, but, um, I believe each is to their own, and I believe in some cases, yeah, like rape, or other serious cases, or, you know, a really, really young girl getting pregnant, like 13, or something like, I believe it could be, you know, necessary in some cases. In my case, um, I would not result to abortion because I don't want my unborn child to suffer because of my irresponsibility. You know, I was irresponsible. I was the one who didn't take the extra precaution to use birth control. So why should I take it out on her and take the easy route out of just saying, oh, abortion, abortion, abortion. I just don't agree when people use abortion as a birth control method. Oh, it's no big deal. I'll just get an abortion. It's a big deal, and Dan and I were together and happy, and I knew it was not going to be easy, but I just was not going to have an abortion. My brothers, I have two older brothers, and um, my oldest brother, he called me and he was talking to me about it, and he was just letting me know that they are also being supportive, and he said, don't you dare get an abortion. If you get an abortion, I will not talk to you ever again. I will... I won't want anything to do it. My brother has the same views and beliefs as I do. Well, I think he believes more for life. I'm not really sure. I haven't really talked to him about his <laughs> views on that, but I just know he was totally against me having an abortion. So my whole family, my dad's side of the family, my brothers, they are all being like super anti-abortion. And my mom and her mom were just like, abortion, abortion. So um, it was it was tough just because I was not going to have an abortion. It was just tough dealing with people telling me, you know, get an abortion. There are teen girls out there who think that having a baby with a guy will make him stay. No, no, no. Daniel and I's relationship went down as soon, you know, as I was pregnant because you think, oh, it's going to bring him closer. It does not because it causes much stress. I mean, when you're married, I can understand, but I think married couples also struggle too because. It, you get stressed about money and the future and just everything. It's just so much to grasp and when you're this young and when you're a teenager, you have to grow up immediately. You cannot be selfish anymore and you have to face reality quick. You have to grow up quick. Say bye to your teen years. You know, yeah, Dan and I, we had fun, we partied, we, you know, smoked, we, we did all that. But, um, we, 
do not do that anymore. It's just a life that I'm leaving behind me. I never plan to do anything like that again. I mean, maybe for my 21st birthday, yeah, I'll go have, you know, a drink, but I'm done with everything, you know? You are not a teenager anymore. You are an adult. Our relationship definitely went down. We had to move back in with our parents because our roommates, um, they said we cannot live there with a baby. I mean, yeah, they had a three-bedroom house, but they didn't want a baby. And yeah, that was, that sucked, but it's understandable because, you know, they were still in the whole party life. They weren't ready to give up that, and they shouldn't have to because, you know, they're not once they're pregnant. And, um, we couldn't afford rent anywhere else because we, that was like a super good deal for a month. And now that we had a baby along the way and money that we needed to use on her, we did not have money to, we couldn't afford a place of our own and pay for everything we needed for her. So I moved back in with my mom and he moved back in with his mom and we just started growing apart and we were, just, we were stressed out about money and everything else. He lost his job because he had, we had to move across town so we had to quit and it took him a very long time to find a new job because in our area it's very hard to find a job so that was really stressful and um, yeah and by the way my mom did come around like after a week she started talking to me again and she started becoming you know facing it and now my mom and I are super close again we are we treat each other like adults we respect each other and um, she's very excited to be a grandma so also if you're watching this and you're thinking about how you're going to tell your parents as a teenager or something like that um just know that your parents will be upset at first and you can't really be upset with them for being upset because they're going to be upset um they will come around hopefully eventually you just have to give them some time and they need their time to to face it and grasp it and um eventually they'll grow to no no they'll love their grandchild and you know they can't take it out on the child either because it's not the child's fault we're about five months pregnant daniel and i broke up and we were broken up for a good two months solid two months i thought i was going to be a single mom and i'm going to do another video called the reality of being pregnant as a teenager to just show you all that it's not a walk in the park and i'll explain more about why we broke up and more about that topic in that video because this video is already so sort of long and I don't want to talk about that. But um the current situation, Daniel's living with roommates, um, his cousin, his other cousin, and his fiance, they live in a house and it's forty five minutes away from me, so I don't see Daniel very often. <laughs> but we are together and I live with my mom and I may be judged for living with my parents still, but my mom honestly prefers me living with her because she's, you know, she's single, she's she's lonely, and she said to me the other day, she said, I'm so glad you're here to keep me company, I don't know what I would do if you weren't living here. She would be lonely. So, you know, I keep her company too, but I contribute. I work. I paid for everything in this room. I pay for everything for Marley. I'm not on government assistance because Daniel and I, we work and we pay for her and we do what we can. And I don't expect my mom to pay for anything. But once Marley's here, it's going to be giving me like $100 a month, which, you know, it, it's not that much. But there's not much I need that's just going to help with gas for doctor's appointments and anything I need for her. I'm going to try and breastfeed, hopefully. If not, then that money will be going towards formula, and I have plenty, plenty, plenty of diapers. But eventually, I will have to buy diapers. I'll be finished with high school in a week, and then I start college in August. And I'm going to college full time to become an R nurse, and I just want to kick it out and get it done fast. So um, I'm doing my first year online and staying at home with Marley. That way, you know, I don't feel comfortable leaving her in the daycare in first year. Um, and the next two years or I think one or two years I have to go actually go to school physically because you can only do your prereqs online for nursing so I will be doing that eventually too and she'll just go to the daycare on college campus yes and now my mom and I are very close again I'm living with her and we're in a three bedroom little house and Daniel is living with his roommates and we actually plan on living together again 
when I'm done with college because we won't be able to provide everything we need for her because, you know, children are expensive and live on our own with, you know, just his salary and even if I was working one or two nights a week. We want to give her the best we can and be able to provide everything for her and so we um, will not be living together until I'm done with college and I'm a nurse and then it's his turn and he's going off to college to become what he wants. So we have to take turns. He's only going to be able to come see us like once or once a week or once every two weeks. He's not going to be over that much because he doesn't have transportation. He lives 45 minutes away and he works a lot and um, that's going to suck. So technically I, I do have a relationship but it's like being a single mom because I have to raise her on my own. I mean, yeah, I have him there for emotional support, but let me just say this. I love my baby girl to the moon and back, but I wish I would have waited. I want my baby, my single girl. I love her. I really do, so please don't misunderstand this, but I want, it would have been more ideal to wait till we were financially stable and made, you know, good money and had our own house and we're married and my next child and you can keep me to this word will be when we are married, if it's with him, you know, if we're together, I will be married, I will be done with college and I will be working at state, you know, at, at my career as a nurse, that's when I will have my next kid. I would not put myself in a position to have another kid <laughs> before any of that happens. I've learned my lesson the hard way, and yes, I have to deal with the consequences, but you know, I do have a beautiful baby girl that I'm very blessed to have and very thankful for. I love her, and I'm very excited for her. As soon as I have her, I'm going on birth control, and I do not plan on having sex, I mean, for a while. Sex is just not something that's on my mind at all and um, when we are actually ready to have sex again I will be using condoms and birth control so yeah that's my story now you know a little bit more about me and how I got pregnant how I told my parents and all that jazz I mean if you guys have any questions you can you know, comment or message me but thanks for watching